it's BB. Welcome back to my channel, my beautiful monarch butterflies. I hope that all of you are having a lovely, lovely day. All right, so in today's video, we are doing a journaling flip through of this cutie. By the way, happy 4th of July, my guys, my ladies, my pals. Yeah, <laughs> I have been working on this journal and I feel like it came together so nicely. It is a four signature. I've got a cute little charm here on the side. How precious is that? This kit is a um, beautiful kit that you can find up on Etsy, which is by, made by my beautiful friend Jovi over at Creating with Jovi. Not only did she create this beautiful kit, but she also made a beautiful kit that is up and coming for my birthday. We haven't launched it just yet, but I have been shown it today. And I gotta say, I'm really, really excited. I hope you guys like it because I liked it and I'm just, I'm, I'm ready to put it out there. You still know? got a little bit of time before that happens. That'll be in August. But just so you guys know, she makes gorgeous, gorgeous kits. I am a huge fan and I'm excited to have been part of her design team for like a third time, I think. So thanks for inviting me back, Jovi. But yes, I have used her kit and it's got little birds. This is one of her newest ones that she created. And I'm just looking forward to doing the journaling flip through for you guys. And then we got a cute little crushed velvet closure here so cute so let's go ahead and jump let's go right ahead in. and measure it out because i have yet to measure it out and it measures a little bit over six and a half by nine and a half or a little under nine and a half so yeah let's go ahead and show you guys this cutie so you can see i've made a little plate here with some breads added some cute little hobby lobby lace which made me sad for my friend kara because she says that hers is two hours away I think now her Hobby Lobby and I was just like oh my gosh like she's the one that inspired me to get this ribbon super cute we got some little corners here and this guy's really have these all right so now that we've got it open let's flip you guys through here we got Jovi's gorgeous kit here with the little nest there aren't nests just so precious and then here we have a journaling card and then I made this DIY flip tag here. Flips opens like this. And then we got her little cut aparts here from her kit again. And it's there, it's like posing by fruits and stuff. It is so pretty. Some vintage wallpaper here at the bottom. And by the way, you guys, I did a farmer's market and I have done one before, but I did it with a friend. And she like helped she helped me because like she lended me part of her booth but this time around I want to say like I, I did it by myself but obviously I had my sister-in-law's help but it was just my journals this time around and um, look at this cute little scruffy tab here um, so yeah she helped me set up and all of that jazz I'll probably end up posting a small short video very soon up on my channel if you guys are interested and um, it was a lot of fun. I had posted up and thought I was going to sell a little bit more but since it's so close to 4th of July it was like one week weekend before the 4th of July so I didn't sell very much because I know people are busy buying their fireworks and stuff and if you buy fireworks let me know which ones are your favorites. I'd love to know. Um, mine are like they look like wands you know and they're they're just a lot of fun and I like because every single time that they come out they come out with like different colors or the little ones that buzz and circle those are really cool too but obviously it it's fun but it puts me in mind too of our veterans you know because I'm sure that for them it make it's for some of them it probably does trigger them I feel bad you know so here we have some little ephemera. This is part of her kit. Really, really pretty. But anyways, yes, I did sell, I ended up selling a Halloween junk journal. So thanks to the cute couple, he had picked it up for his girlfriend. I thought that was really sweet. This is part of the digital kit too. I just made a cute little library pocket there. This is her kit again. And then I tucked in some fun goodies. This I fussy cut out of a bird book that I got for $1 so pretty but the only thing I do gotta say is like the the pages they have a sheen to them so that's the only downside to the book I prefer books that don't have the glossy finish you know 
So I was able to buy myself my own table for the next farmer's market. And then I also, oh, this is from Timu, by the way, this fun fabric. It's so pretty. Her kit here. And hopefully next time I can buy me a canopy. But I did get me a, a little lawn chair so that I can set up and stuff. I just don't want to be borrowing things from people. I don't know if you guys are the same way, but I prefer to have like my own things and not, not have to borrow stuff. That's just how I am. So this is the first signature, the center of the first signature. And I'm looking forward to getting me a canopy. I've been looking at some of them through Timu. Um, and then also some from Walmart. I'm not sure um, which color I want to go with though. Because I originally thought I was going to get a red lawn chair for me to sit on. But then I ended up landing on black. Because like black is such a universal color and it just goes with everything, right? So this um, has her kit here. This flips out like that. Oh, and then I made these little things by myself. Like the, the protectors. Punch protectors. I don't know what to call them. But I go in with my scraps, you know? And then I use a tiny little hole punch like this. And well, you guys probably know about it, but I learned this from my friend Kara. So yeah, you take your little hole punch and you punch out all the little guys and then you make a hole. Voila. And then you can have any color you want. They're so cool. Love it. Oh, I also forgot to mention this will be linked up on my Poshmark. Okay, so if you guys are new to Poshmark, this is her kit. If you guys are new to Poshmark and you use my code, that'll give us both $10 towards your purchase, towards your first purchase ever. So I think that's really, really awesome. We both get to help each other out. Not only do you get to land a cute little journal, but you also get $10 towards your purchase. Here is her digital kit once again. And then here, her kit. This as well. And then here, I just put some like little receipts and stuff. Also, I'm not sponsored by Poshmark. I just, I'm, I love Poshmark. So here you can do some cute little journaling. I tucked it into this little pocket here, this little corner pocket. I just thought it looked kind of cool. We got some ephemera there for you. You can use it however you want. I uh, put this little applique here and, um, don't remember where I got the little applique, this one in particular, but the green one is for my sweet friend Tanya over at Psychic Crafts. The digital kit, and here we have a couple of little eggs and some bumblebees. So stinking cute. And then here we have a pocket. We did a little cluster here. I did this one live with my friend Jovi. So creating with Jovi and me have a live together that I will be linking down below so you guys can watch it. This is cute. This came out of a children's book. And you can write little letters to yourself for like loving yourself, you know what I mean? Little positive affirmations and stuff, little prompts. I think it's super cute. And then I made this little booklet using some of the kit here. This is a pocket and I tucked one of the cut aparts from the digital. And then I stamped out this beautiful bird. They're from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has some beautiful stamps. Really been enjoying them. And sorry if I'm like all over the place, but that's just how my brain functions. Here we have a fun little tuck spot with like it's like a cluster, you know, but I used a piece of the digital kit, like the remnant, right? And then I tucked in a cute little daily checklist for my sweet friend, MJ. And also, I forgot to give her her shout out the last time. So MJ, thank you so, so much. She's the one that gifted me my printer and makes all of this possible to work with all these fun digital kits. But here is again, part of the digital kit, a little tag there. Oh, you guys, I gotta show y'all this too. I rusted some paper clips for the very first time hopefully i'm on camera there can y'all see it so i rusted some paper clips and also some of my staples the staples i think i should have left them in a little bit longer but they still look pretty cool so yeah you have a little journal here that you can take on the go if you wanted to 
you know, add tickets or receipts, whatever you want to document. And then part of her digital kit here as well. I backed it up to more of her digital here. We got another fun pocket here. You can also do some journaling. Some ephemera there for you. Great for collaging. This comes from a paper pad and I love it. I think these little faux postcards look very pretty. Someone DIY'd this paper and I can't remember who. It might have been Brittany Linger Blinger or Jovi from Creating with Jovi. But I just loved the light little blues in here that they incorporated and it's got a little bit of glitter in it like shimmer. Very pretty. We got some ledger from the 1930s. I sent some of these for Jovi so that I could share it with you guys on the digital kit that will be up and coming for my birthday. But don't tell her I told you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She'll, she's probably going to watch this video. Um, here we have the digital kit. And then I made a belly band. If you guys want to see how I made this, I will have that link down below. But it's just going to be a little bit different, but you can see how I create them. So much fun. Here we have a large journal tag. We have some ephemera and then some of these little Project Life cards. So this is the center of the second signature. The digital kit here, 1930s ledger, vintage music page, again that paper that was handmade by one of my crafty friends. Here we have some more ephemera tucked into this pocket. We got some massive tags. This came from Rosie over at Rosie's Creative Wings. Very pretty um, from my sweet friend Dale over at Not Too Shabby Chic. So lots of journaling goodies for you to journal on. And then here we have another little tag. Super cute. It's got a very strange looking ladybug, but did you guys know that ladybugs eat aphids off the plant? So it's a good sign when you got little ladybugs in your garden because they take care of all those little termites. And then here we have a fun tag, also using Jovi's kit there. Very pretty, it's like the center of it. Again, here we have her kit. We tucked in one of those faux postcard cuties from that paper pad. Love it! Again, some of my DIY punch protectors. I don't know what to call them. You can flip it up, do some journaling on the inside. And then this is a flip out as well. So you can flip it out and this is a tiny itty bitty little pocket here. And then I also added some of these, uh, it's like a receipt or something. You see? Kind of cool. So I put two of those in there for you. You can use them for whatever you want. I just think that they look really neat. Here's the digital kit once again. And then this beautiful digital kit again, but it has this down here, which I love it. I think it's really pretty. And then here I did a cluster, again with her kit. Some Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz and then uh, some journaling goodies for you. Here's that scruffy little tab. I just think it's adorable. I added some of this paper studios and then a faux ticket there. Ah, here, this is a hanky. I'm pretty sure you guys noticed, but it's just, it's very sheer. It's very pretty. If you want to, you can cut this off, but I just liked the fun edges. I think it's really adorable and it, I made it into a pocket here so I ended up making a large journaling tag with a little collage there and then you can add like a picture here sorry if you can hear my husband laughing in the background okay so here moving right along we have another pocket with her digital kit here and then I glued this backwards but it still looks cute so here we have some ledger and you can tear this apart and make something fun and cute like what I did here you know you could just piece it all together and make something adorable 
and then you can collage with it and stuff, whatever you want. This is Paper Studios. It's got a little bird on it. And I love dainty flowers, like the one that it's standing on. Very cute. This came from... A subscription. I can't remember what it is now, but it's a subscription. I'll probably put it here. And then here is more of her digital kit. It's so pretty. I love its little red chest here and it's blue as well very pretty once again the kit did some little collaging and then I took some fabric and I stamped on it and I think it came out really cute so it, I, I did this right and then I folded it in half and then I sliced it right and then I made a fun little flip out there so you can flip it this way or this way however you want but you got journaling spaces here and then I made a fabric pocket using some lace some vintage lace and it's yellow and super gorgeous I got it thrifting very pretty I got it a long time ago and I got it for $1.29 what a steal here um, we have some vintage book page and then I stamped a little bird on there I thought it would be really pretty. You got some cool images here. So you can use that for whatever you want. Again, personally, I think I would use it for like collaging. And then you can do some journaling here. This came out of one of the books that my sweet friend Dale gave to me and then I tore it apart and now you can use it for journaling on. A sweet little hobby, hobby lobby, <laughs> holly hobby book. And she's so cute with her bonnet. And she's collecting apples, and there was apples featured earlier in the beginning of the journal, so I thought it was very fitting. Here we have a possum, so cute! Made me think of Possum Patty. And then we have some vellum sheets here, and then this came from like a little Christian Bible book. This is the third signature here. We're nearing the end of this journaling flip through. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I don't know why, but I was having a hard time getting into the swing of making a journal. And I'm not sure why, but I kind of, do you guys get discouraged sometimes? Because you're like, oh, my stuff is repetitive. I'm using the same things over and over, like same pages. Like I put one of these pages in every journal. So I don't know if it gets old for you guys, but I, I hope it doesn't because I just find them to be pretty. But I'm just like, what if they all look the same or you know what I'm saying? But so here's her digital kit in the background. I used some wallpaper here and then I embossed it uh, using a vintage embosser. Let me see if I can find it. It's a mess in here, you guys. Okay, so I, I used one of these and I might have showed it in my last video, but you run your paper in through here and then you turn the little knob. I got this thrifting and I couldn't tell you what brand it is. Um, I was unable to find a brand. But I did emboss some vintage paper, wallpaper and then I put this little thing here, a label, so you can label it however you want to. That 1930s paper, ledger paper, her digital kit once again. This is a fun pocket here. And I also included some of her digital kit and some ephemera from Timu, I believe, and or it was gifted to me in Happy Mail. And then some, a little personal note thing. Uh, I forgot the name, stationery. Super adorable pocket. This is her digital kit as well, if I didn't already say it. This pink one here. Um, this too is her kit. You got some children playing in the tree and you can see these birds are either chattering to them and or they're about to get pecked on the head for getting close to the nest, you know what I'm saying? I think it's funny watching big birds getting poked in the head by birds protecting their nest. This says, happiness, all smiles, life is good. So I made a little charm here. I just thought it would look adorable with that bold pin. We got a circular paper clip there. Okay, so here we have her digital kit once again. I'm sure y'all can spot it by now. I made a massive journaling tag here with the digital and then backed it up with some vintage ledger. And then I did some stamping there, very pretty. 
And then I just think these colors together are so fun. I personally love yellow. I think it's gorgeous and it looks so pretty with blue. And then here I did a little cluster again with her digital kit. And you can see the, the hanky once again on this side. And it's yellow and so pretty. And then I was able to make it into a pocket. So I put a large tag here made of ledger. I did some stamping here at the bottom. Very pretty. Love this fun pocket. It's so big, so spacious. Stinking adorable. And this is vintage, so it's very cute. Here we have part of the digital kit. Once again, beautiful bird. This is part of the digital kit. Once again, I made a little library pocket or pocket. And then I laminated some of the birds not too long ago and I was like oh my gosh that's perfect for the journal and then modeling paste here sorry for the glare I don't know if I'm avoiding it or not but it's very cute and then I fussy cut out this little bird from again that book that I showed y'all earlier and then did some embossed paper there cute doily I have a tutorial for these if you want to check it out. They're fun envelopes. And then again, I used one of the rusty paper clips that I created. But you can see this has modeling paste on it and a wax seal. I also believe I have a video of the wax seals too if you want to check that out. Some more journaling spaces, vintage book page. It's super cute. I'm going to put this back. I think my paper clips turned out pretty darn adorable. So cute. Okay, so here's her digital kit. Once again, you can label a date there or something, whatever you find fitting for it. This is a pocket. I stuffed some goodies in there. Look at that envelope with that purple and those beautiful flowers. So cute. You could even emboss this envelope and add character to it. How cute would that be? And or you could attach it to a page and make a little flip out or a little tuck or something. Use your creativity however you want to. I just think it's gorgeous. What a gorgeous border on that envelope. We have some very faint pink paper here you could do some journaling on. More of that ledger. This is the last signature so this is the center of the last signature. And then here we have that little scruffy tab. This came from like the chindi rugs, very pretty. And then I thrifted a book not too long ago with some plant pictures and gorgeous flowers. And I think it's working out really nicely. It's huge, 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 huge. And it's very, very pretty. It's called Success with House Plants. I think it was either a dollar or 50 cents. I don't remember now. But here we have a little ticket from one of those Tim Holtz booklets, ticket booklets. And then this is some more journaling spaces. I rounded the edges. It's very pretty. It says, love is patient, love is kind. That is one of my favorite quotes. Pretty iconic in the, a walk to remember. All right, so flipping over to this side, I made a large, large journaling tag using her digital kit here and here. And then I went in with one of the little ephemera pieces that my friend fell over at FP Handmade gave me. This opens up. We got some cute pockets here. Her fun digital kit there. This is part of it too. She's holding a rooster. How stinking precious. And I love little kids in journals. I think they just look adorable. So here, some more ephemera, another rusty paper clip, and then here I used her kit once again, this and this, gorgeous, and then I did a tag here with one of the clusters that me and Jovi made together, hopefully I'm on camera. This is another little flip out, or you could glue the sides down and make a pocket if you so choose. Uh, the other side of that doily 
and some more journaling spaces for you. You could add a pocket if you wanted to, some pictures, the digi kit once again. And then back here, I did a tag using again that book. Now you could do some journaling there. Lots of places for you to journal on. And then this was gifted to me by Fell, once again, FP Handmade, and it had birds on it, so I thought it was perfect. Super, super pretty, and this reminds me of um, those books that we're always trying to thrift, and I can't think of it. Edith Holden books, I guess? I have yet to put my signature, my maker's mark on here, but I will. This is from a curtain, and it made for a great pocket for the journal. So that wraps it up for me, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this journaling flip through. Once again, it will be linked up on my Poshmark as well as Jovi's kit. So be sure and check it out. Find you something you like. So if this kit is not up your alley, she's got several for you to choose from. And she's also included new DGs too that she just created so be sure and check that out i will catch y'all on the next one have a happy fourth of july y'all please take care and until next time bye